What makes Molly an awesome fiance? Mike! <laughs> There's no counter space in the bathroom. That's my reading table. Convenient, because it's right next to your thinking seat. <laughs> this place smells like feet and patchouli. <laughs> Namaste. Pull over and let me drive. It's big, it's loud, and the tailpipe backfires. I'll be fine. I sleep with you every night. Catch Emmy winner Melissa McCarthy in Mike and Molly, Mondays, only CBS. And now, an exclusive extended preview of Mike and Molly. Could you please just order pancakes so I don't have to go through this? I can't. I want to keep it light because Christina's making a special dinner for me. Oh, oh man. How do you eat this stuff? I mean, it's not really milk. It's not really cheese. It's like sour cream and oatmeal had an ugly baby. <laughs> just pretend it's something else. That's what I do. Right now, I'm pretending these plain scrambled eggs are a delightful Denver omelet. This dive we're sitting in is a quaint New Orleans bistro, and I'm Turner, your hooch. <laughs> really? See, I always go to lethal the weapon. I'm Danny Glover and you're Mel Gibson with a thyroid condition. Just eat your curds. <laughs> so, uh, sounds like things are going pretty good with you and Christina. I am truly smitten. I mean, when she talks, I'm actually listening to her and not just nodding my head and imagining what she looks like naked on the seesaw. <laughs> so is there a chance that tonight there's gonna be more than food on the menu? Uh, the sexual aspect of our relationship is moot because we've already connected on a soulful, spiritual level. And that's why you got a clean pair of undies and a toothbrush in your glove box. <laughs> as well as a three-pack of flavored love jellies and a strip of condoms long enough to choke a World War II machine gun. <laughs> All new Mike and Molly, Monday, only CBS.